interested in, in all things. Thanking God for the people of this house, the man and woman of God to Bishop Kaiser and Lady Ann Kaiser, people I love Amen. with an everlasting love. I love you like my daddy love you. <laughs> he loves you all the time. Good or bad, he loves you. Amen. Thanking God for them. Amen. And for rightly dividing the word church. Look at y'all. Looking beautiful. Give me a hug. Y'all know I'm, I'm a hugger. Give me a hug. Francis. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, man. I, I, can I be myself? Hey, man, I'm not going to be before you long. You know, I usually, I can go by three hours, but I'm not going to be before you long. <laughs> hey, man. Give it on to all the elders and council here and missionary friends. And if I miss you, please forgive me. So I'll just say to Lottie Dottie and everybody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we thanking God for all of you. Um, I was just sitting there observing and everything. And Pastor rightly divine done preached my message. <laughs> Amen. I just, I just, gonna, I'm just gonna confirm everything y'all testifying about the seed sowing and everything. I just want to break some bands in here today. Is that all right? And what I want to do is, I know you've never done this in church. I know we get frustrated, we get disappointed, we be in despair sometimes. And I just want for you for 15 seconds just to scream. Just. just. <laughs> Y'all know who did that? The children of Israel at the wall of Jericho. I think y'all need to scream one more time. And, 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 and look at this. Y'all don't know really why they scream. Because number one, they walked around seven days. They were tired. They were disgusted. They were mad. Because we could have just went there and took the city. But they were mad, so they frustrated, so they screamed. Second, they followed the command of God. Amen. And look at the altar. Amen. The walls fell. Amen. And they took the city. Is that all right? So you have some walls just begin to fall. Glory. Somebody will praise God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. And I, I'm thanking God. He's had me on assignment. Amen. Speaking. I've been having a few speech and engagements, engagements. And God has been truly blessing. Amen. I just wanted to share this with you on today. Amen. You all have been so blessed, and I know the word of the Lord is in this house because I've been affiliated for 25 years. I know the man. Is that right? And, and, and you don't have to be leery. You don't have to be fearful. You don't have to be cautious. I know the man. Amen. And I, and I count it an honor and a privilege for, me, for him to allow me to be in the midst of his people. Amen. And to share a word with you. Amen. Look, I'm about to start. Amen. But, but I want you to get your Bibles, and I want you to understand that when you're tired, the devil is tired too. Amen. When you're tired, the devil is tired too. And, and let me say this. Stop fighting the devil. Uh-oh. Stop. Everybody say, stop. stop. The devil is already defeated. Right. And they say, well, Pastor, what are you saying? I believe in the devil. I do. I believe in a really defeated one. Y'all know in the hood, we beat the brother up. We defeat him. We don't worry about him no more. Because he ain't coming back for no more. He got tired of that first one. And he ain't bringing them up. Thank what Jesus did the devil. Destroyed him. And then he went, he looked at Colossians, he said, he made a spectacle of him. And everything he held against mankind, he nailed it to the cross. And open show to show, he ain't got it no more. I like to say this, when Jesus said he came to seek and to save that 
which was lost, you are not a dat. You know what he came to get back? The authority that man lost. I want that authority. Got it? The enemy had the power. But Jesus came and took the authority. Y'all got it? All y'all in here got power to stand in the street and do this. And stop traffic. Y'all don't have the authority. Police can do it. Why can't he do it? Because everything is invested in him by the state. Stop. I say stop and you go stop. Now you get out there and do that and see one of 18 will knock you down. <laughs> is that all right? Look, I want y'all to say this. Don't worry. Be thankful. And y'all going to hear in this message everybody's testimonies, the, the, the seed sowing, we do a demonstration. Y'all going to hear everything that has happened in this house today. All I'm doing is confirming. Amen. Is that all right? Say it, don't worry, tell your neighbor, don't worry. Be thankful. And I know I got some smart people in here. Well, Pastor, I'm not worried, I'm just overly concerned. <laughs> don't, don't play with me. You're in fear and you're scared. All right? Yeah, yeah don't worry. Be thankful. Philippians 4 and 6 and 7 says, be careful for nothing. Everybody say that. Be careful for nothing. That means no thing. I like to break that word down. Don't, don't be careful for no thing. And what people are pursuing is things. Things, things, things. And let me tell you something. Things don't make you. What you have, what you do, where you are, and who you are, it's not about things. It's about God. Amen? Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Somebody say thank you. Amen. Let your request be made known unto Book and them. Shakira. And some of y'all may be reading the King, the LeBron James version right now. <laughs> Check with your neighbor. It said, let your request be made known unto God. God. Somebody say, tell God about it. We, I'm, I'm tired of telling everybody else. because you know, people, people are at a certain level. With man, you know, things are impossible. But with God, all things. He don't miss a beat. All things. And I looked up all in the Greek and the Hebrew. I studied hard. And guess what it means? It means all. Amen? So it says, and the, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And you got to know who that peace of God is. It's Jesus. So when you read that, you say, Jesus is going to keep my mind. When you think you're going to lose it, you're at your wit's end, you can't take no more, guess who's holding your mind? You got to understand, people think that we got power now because, because we, we've gone through and we've been through some things. How many of y'all been through some stuff that, that'll almost make you lose your mind if you get wrapped up, tired of thinking up in Jesus? You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there. Amen. But you got to know something. Your power is not because of what you are now and where you are now. You know where your power was? When you was back here on your knees. Telling God, I can't take it no more. I'm about to give up. I can't see my way. Your power is there. Because look where he brought you from. Y'all not working with me. Just look back over your life where he brought you from. And where you are now. That should give a praise to somebody right there. Thank you, Lord. From, from one pair of shoes to shoes in your car, you don't know which ones are wet. Yeah, yeah. Now, see, y'all won't play me. <laughs> to, to dress is that you give away because you, oh, I don't like that, boy, I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe back in the day, you used to wear your sister dress, your aunt dress, your mama dress if she had it to fit you. Y'all with me? Look what he bought me from. That's the power that we have. So I want to tell you, don't worry, 
Be thankful. Watch this. Worry brings fear and fear brings torment. Which causes your imagination to run rampant. Yeah, I tell you, but what what keep you up at night? Not your husband, not your wife, your bills. Yeah, they be talking to you. Uh uh-uh. uh. What, 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 what you gonna do now? You ain't got enough money to pay. Like you gonna get up and pay your bill at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, your bill wake you up, um, um, baby. <laughs> they going to cut your lights off tomorrow. And, like, you're going to go to the light company 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, you know your kids ain't making it right now. They in trouble. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, you can do something about it right now. Amen? Your bills, your circumstance, your situations are speaking loud to you, which cause you to worry and get into fear. Well, well y- y- it's just you can't pay this bill. And then, you know, when it comes from this bill, I can't pay this bill, then they're going to take my car. Uh, and if they take my car, then I ain't going to be able to go to work. I'm going to get fired. And then if they find me, I'm going to lose my house. Look at that. Just from 2 o'clock in the morning, your bill saying, come pay me, you done lost your house. <laughs> Is that all right? Say, don't worry. Don't worry. Be thankful. Worry, fear, and problems are temporary interruptions in a plan that produces discomfort, discouragement, distress, which must be overcome and that the purpose will be realized. You got to know something. There's a purpose in your life. So you got to get through all this to get to where God has for you. You got it? It's just a distraction. Say it's just a distraction. Amen. It's just a distraction. So you got to look at what 2 Corinthians 4 and 18 says. While we look not at the things which are seen. I see this bill. But I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the one that says he shall supply all my needs. I know my body racked with pain. But I'm looking at the one that says I'm a healer. I'm Jehovah Rapha. I'm the Lord that heals. You got it? I don't look at things while we look not at things that are seen, but at things which are temporal. But those things are what? Subject to change. I like to say this. I preach the magic. Everything is subject to change when you change the subject. You got it? Everything is subject to change when you change the subject. Think about it. You talking to somebody, they start talking that crazy talk. Y'all know we talk to unbelievers and stuff, that, and you got to guard your heart. But they had you freaked out. You know the world finna collapse? We're going to lose all our money. What? I ain't got that much. I'm going to lose that. <laughs> no. They, what you do? When they say, you know, the, the economy is collapsing, oh, that's a good change of subject. And do you know that God is able to do everything I ask you? You know these drama people come in your life causing drama? When they start talking about somebody, say, girl, let's start praying for them. Change the subject. You know what? Watch this. Why, why did God tell you to pray for your enemies? Not, not just for your peace or anything, because you can't be mad at somebody that you've been treating God about. Think about it. I ain't praying for you if I don't like you. But when I'm, I'm obeying God, I'm going to pray for you. And then that prayer that I'm praying for you, I'm going begin, to begin to get concerned about you. Amen? And the second thing, now, that, now this, this is kind of bad. So God won't kill you for messing with me. <laughs> is that all right? No, but you can't pray for nobody that, that, that you just got to be mad at. Amen? It changes your whole heart. So if you see your enemy, you pray for him, and it changes your heart. You don't worry about it. And people want, well, they ain't going to, they ain't going to, they ain't going to, they ain't going to receive it. And that, it ain't about them. It's about you. I'm trying to, look, I'm trying to get out your way. But let me tell you something. The reason why people are stressed out, having heart attacks, in problems, is because they're letting every, what they say affect you. I'm looking for they say, because I want to kill it. They say have killed so many people. 
What they said. Y'all got to hit it. What they said don't matter. The Bible said you should have whatsoever you say. People mess your life up. Here you are in despair. Mess up. Pray. Pastor got to stay up and pray. And they going on partying and having fun. And here you are messed up. I respect everybody. But I don't care what you say. Y'all all right? all right? I got a word. Right. Bible says I'm going to have what I say. So what you say don't matter. Right. I listen to your opinions. I listen to your thoughts. Right. And I filter them through the Holy Ghost. And if you don't line up with what I say, nothing else matters. I can, everybody say this, I cannot have thoughts that God does not think of me. Is that all right? He said, bring every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. But what does that mean? If God say you righteous, I don't care how many people say you low down. If God say you blessed, I don't care how many jokers say you, you ain't going to make it. You got it? Casting out every thought. Because if God don't think it about me, it don't matter. When you worry, you magnify your problems over God's power. Amen? Y'all know that phrase on how great is our God. So you look at your problem, and you look at your God, and then you look at your problem again, you just start thanking God. Is that all? Thank you. Y'all with me? So every time that problem arises and it wakes you up at 2 o'clock, just look at God. He is the author and finisher of your faith. And I want to touch on this too. I've been, I've been telling people this. Stop praying and crying and fasting and all this for faith. Bishop, you got to work with me now. Somebody said, I already got it. But he said in Romans, I have dealt to every man the measure of faith. Now, you may have mustard seed. You have, may have mustard jar. You got it. All right. Everybody say, I got it. I got it. That's not good enough. Then he said, since I give you the measure of faith, then the just shall live by that faith. So I'm living by that faith, the measure, whatever it may be. Then that's not good. Say, that's not good enough. Then he say, I'll give you the gift of faith. Yeah. Everybody said, that ain't good enough. Right. How many of y'all know we serve a much more God? Yeah. Y'all shout out much more. Yeah. Much more. Man, I want much more. What, what, what he said? Uh, okay. Say that. Say much more. That ain't good enough. Then he said, and if you don't use your measure, then you don't have the gift of it. You ain't using your gift. Then start praying in the Holy Ghost, building yourself up on your most holy faith. Somebody got most holy faith in here. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I'm going to bring, I'm going to drop the bomb right now. Then he say, the life I now live, I live by the faith of Jesus Christ. Oh, and you worry about, do you have faith? Y'all need to just say, I got Jesus. I go out. You know, the fellas hang with me and everything. We walk in places. Y'all know I'm a bad boy. Y'all know where I'm going. You know? Bible says, Romans 8 and 32. If he gave us, if he spared not his own son, but gave him up for us all, how shall he not with him freely? Anybody like some free stuff? He said, freely give you all things. All you have to do is walk in, and they walk in with me. I'm with him. What, bro, who paying for that? I'm with him. Well, where y'all going with you? <laughs> y'all understand? So you with him, saints. Don't worry. Be thankful. So every time it comes, 
Whatever comes, this, this is my message for the year. Whatever circumstance and situation is, whatever it is, don't worry. Just be thankful. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall what? Continue. What does continue with me? Huh? What does it mean? Uh, if y'all water running on, what y'all try to do? Cut it off, right? So I want continually in my life. So I'm gonna keep on praising Him continually. And then watch this. Even though I'm I'm praising Him continually, guess what He does? He steps in the midst of it. Why? Because I inhabit the praises of my people. Woo! Can y'all receive that? Don't be afraid. Fear not appears over 365 times in your Bible, All right. which means every day, <laughs> every day you get up, guess what, God? You say, my God, I ain't heard God today. Yes, he did. He said, don't be afraid. <laughs> every day. So when I wake up next week, guess what he's going to be telling me? Don't be afraid. Don't fear not. Tell your neighbor, don't worry. Be thankful. Watch this. Apostle, apostle, did you 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 grew up in preacher, didn't you? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He's a Pretorian. <laughs> and I'm a New Orleanian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Night ward. You know, if I made it out of night ward, I could make it anyway. Alright, come on now. Amen. I got a message. I'm gonna come back. That's gonna get me back. I'm already by myself. <laughs> oh, okay. I got a message. I got a message. Well, how many educators do we have in here? Teachers and anything I'm saying, and working. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to be kind of off the, the base right now. Right. You know, and, and my message is really for all the intellectual saints and everything. I'm not afraid. Mm. I'm not afraid. All right. But from no, from night ward, and from Pritchett. Yeah. I ain't scared of nothing. You got it? Y'all need to go hear Bone Thugs and Hummy, but you got to get the, the rate, the rating that come on the real. You know, you can't hear the other part because some of y'all, some of y'all just like fall out. Bone Thugs and Hummy, I ain't never scared. You know what that means? Whatever you bring, I can handle it. What about the people of God? Hey, Amen. We used to, when we walked out, we came out the nine. People knew. He said, where you from, bro? I'm from the lower night, not the upper night. I'm from the lower night, which means I'm from the desire housing project. And you don't want to bring nothing to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all all right? Tell the Lord, thank you. When I worry, I'm closing. I'm closing. When I worry, I hold myself in high regard. When I worry, I hold myself in high regard. Amen? And when I'm trusting, I'm holding God in high regard. You got it? And you got to know something. It's not about you. Amen. The Lord said he's going to get the glory out of your life. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm going to give you, I crown you with glory and honor. I'm going to get the glory out of your life. You got to understand what God is looking for. He's looking for Jesus in you. All right. He's not looking at you. He's looking at the blood that covers you. Because if I had to stand before God, oh, no. Y'all know why y'all don't get in heaven? Because I'm with him. Y'all y'all didn't get that. Because Jesus is going to be standing there. I am the way, the truth, and the life. If any man enter, he must enter by me. So you, all God got to ask you, why are you here? Because I'm with him. Yeah. Oh, I'm about happy already. I feel like running, but I'm not. Amen. Uh, Y'all play me, all right. <laughs> Y'all, let me tell you something. 
Adam never had a thought about what he was going to eat. Adam never worried. Think about something. Y'all think about the internet new? No. All Adam did was download it from God. Think about it. He was connected to God. He was in his image. He was just like him. He had everything like God. And all God told him, Adam, man, look at them animals. What do you think about that? He said, oh, he said, man, father, look. Man, that's a giraffe. Yeah, that's an elephant. That's a hippopotamus. That's a snake. And you know what God told him? Adam, whatever you call it, that's what it is. Mm, mm, mm. I think I got some people in here that has been made in the image of Christ. And all you have to do is start saying, that's my house. My family's saved. I got authority over this. And you know what God said? Whatever you call it, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. Be thankful. Is that all right? The answer to all your worry is knowing who you are. The answer to all your worrying is really knowing who you are. I got any kingdom folk in here? You are of the God class. Y'all hear what I said? You are of the God class, which means that I'm just like him. Amen? The Bible tells us you are his offspring. Look in Acts. The book of Acts said you are of his offspring. And what do we always do? Oh, that's my son. I'm baby Liddy's baby son. That's my baby right there. Amen. Not thank God for my wife, but that's my baby. Amen. So I got two beautiful women in my life. Man, ain't I'm blessed. Hey, man. Look, look, that's, that's, that's my mom. I'm baby Lily's baby boy. And, and I have a problem. Y'all pray for me. You know, I'm, 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 I'm living for God, but y'all pray for me. I have some quirks and things, but, you know, but I don't, I don't see her as my friend. And I know Israel Halton have y'all, I am a friend of God. No, man, no. You, you, you belittling me, really. Man, I'm a son of God. Friends don't go in a per person's houses and stuff and do what they want. If I, if I was a friend of hers, I had to call her and ask, can I come over? Are you available? Man, I don't do it. I just roll up my, my mama. Open the door. What you got here to eat? I'm hungry. How many of how many y'all friends can walk in your house and do you that? Uh, come on, be honest. How many y'all? How many? I can't do that to Bishop. I, I, I'm his friend and everything, but if I was his son, daddy. Yeah, what kind of car you driving that, sister? And if I was your son, I would be driving that bad boy. See? You don't give that to your friends. <laughs> All right, she came at me. Y'all know it from the night, right? Y'all know it from the night. I ain't got to drive, yo. I got a daddy. Uh, if y'all don't love me now, y'all love me later. Amen. I got a daddy. Amen. Watch this. I had to keep a Yes, indeed. Let me, let me, y'all don't make me laugh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Look, look, you are of the God, God class. It says in Colossians 1, 12, and 13, give and thank. Everybody say give thanks. Don't worry. Be thankful. Give and thanks to the Father which has made us meet to be the partakers of the inheritance. Oh, glory. Everybody say I got an inheritance. So if you got inheritance, somebody got to have something to give you inheritance. Yeah, just don't leave me no dog. Come on now. 
You ain't even want your dog to leave to me. If I have an inheritance, somebody got some money. Somebody going to give me something. Amen. Look what he says. You are partakers. And, and y'all need to start taking your part. That's what that means. Partakers, take your part. Of the inheritance in the saints in light who had delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Now watch this, saints. He's, he's done something. He's taking you from the authority of the world system. Everybody say world system. world system. Trying to make it on your own, trying to do it on your own, hoping and wishing and praying, and translated you over into the kingdom of his dear son, which you have an inheritance because Jesus owned everything. Mm-hmm. Many Christians are still trying to be, need to be, and going to be. Did you get that? The enemy's still telling you that. And, and I got another message. Yeah, I got a message. I'd wake up preaching. My wife said, babe, you were preaching hard. <laughs> it's in me. Y'all got to know, when I left the hospital, I probably was put under the bench of a church, in, in the church. <laughs> Amen. I'm, I'm born and bred church. Amen. Look, look. And the enemy keeps telling you the biggest lie. I'm preaching this message. The enemy is telling the people the same thing they told Adam and Eve. You not like it. And he's shouting at the people right now. You not like him. And the Bible tells me in Colossians, ye are complete in him. If I'm complete in him, I got to be like him. But the enemy is still telling you, you need to be, you ought to be, and you're going to be someday. I ain't going to be nothing. I'm all ready. Y'all receiving that? You need to know that you are complete in Christ as he is. Well, I got some Bible people in here. Y'all throwing them LeBron Bibles out, huh? As we are, as he is, so are we. If he's righteous, if he's holy, if he's Holy Ghost filled, if he got power and authority, oh, and y'all think I said I'm a bad boy for nothing. I know who I am. Amen. I know who I am, saints. You don't get on me. Y'all don't see me when my, my brothers ask me, man, why you at crowns and all that? I said, man, you know my dad is the king of kings. And my wife gave me another revelation this morning. She said, baby, when they ask you to tell them, you just, you just preparing because you're going to wear one up there. So you wear it now, you're you going to wear one up there. So I'm just preparing. I want a lot of diamonds in mine. Is that all right? <laughs> Is that all right? But watch this, watch this. You got to trust and rely on the word of God. Anybody here don't have a dollar, I don't want you to be ashamed. I don't want you to be fearful. Anybody don't have came here and didn't have a dollar. Stand up, baby. You just finna get blessed. She wasn't saying she was quick with it. You don't have a dollar. Well, you got a dollar now. Amen. Uh oh, I'm, I got two of them standing. Hope y'all come get a dollar. Amen. You got a dollar now. God bless. Amen. Amen. Now, let, let, let me, let me, here, you keep that, and, and I'm, I'm going to work with this one here. Can I do that? Is that all right? So you just got best with $11. Dollars. Have a seat. Now, watch this. All y'all pastors just talked about seed, sowing, and everything, and, and giving and everything. Watch this. Now, she was faithful to come to church, didn't have a dollar in pocket because she came expecting. Not, not monetarily, but she expected a word from God that would change her life forever. 
And all you need is a word. Because watch this. Because a word is a seed. And once it's planted in your heart, it's going to grow. It's going to manifest and get fruit. Amen. Now watch this. I just gave her a dollar. And she said, thank you. Well, baby, if you give me that dollar, I'll give you $20. You look at her moving. Amen. Why did she get up? Second thing, because she trusted my word. You got it? Because she trusted my word. Because the first thing I told her, I'd give her a dollar. She came in and faithfully and came and received it. Then I told her, I'd give her another 20. She said, okay, I'll make that a change. Baby, if you give me that 20, I'll give you 50. You can have a seat. I'll give, I'll give you 50. But watch this. Oh, look what she's doing. She's going to sit down because she trusted my word. Yeah. I didn't give her that 50 just then. I just told her yeah. I was going to give her a 50. Because what she's doing, she's relying on my word. And she's trusting that I promise I'll give her 50. Amen. Come get the 50, baby. Amen. Somebody say much more. Y'all push me to the level. Baby, if you give me that, if you give me that 50, look, she's sitting down and resting now. And if you don't rest, God won't work. She trusted my word. She expected I'm going to keep my word and my promise. She went and sat down because she rested. Because he told me he's going to give me $50. Is that all right? If I don't rest on what God told me, I'm working on it myself. And I'm tired of working. I retired at 40 years old. Because I worked and worked and worked. And I said, I'm tired of working. So if I'm working, God not working. If I'm not resting, God is not working. He said, you know why the children of Israel made me upset? Because they limited the God of Israel. I want to do more. Y'all, y'all get ready. Y'all going to kick off your shoes. I'm going to give y'all a scripture. Y'all going to kick off your shoes, run around. Each other. Y'all get ready. Um. Let me see if I got time to do that to y'all. Look, baby, since you just obedient and trusting, if you give me that 50, I'll give you 100. And you will never lack another day in your life. Woo, glory! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I must know he always keeps his word. I must know he always keeps his word. Y'all with me? I got five. Can I have five more minutes? Give me five minutes. I I got another engagement, but I got got to get this to you. Watch this. Matthew 6 and 25. Give Give me a strong reader right fast. Dr. Coleman. Sister, Sister Dr. Coleman, <laughs> read 6 and 25 for me. I'm going to be out your way in just a minute. Therefore I, say unto you, therefore, I say unto you, everybody hearing this, therefore I say, put your name there, therefore I say unto Benny, so put your name there, therefore I say unto Benny, what, Sister Coleman? Take no thought for your life. Uh-huh. What you going to eat, what you going to drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Is not your life more than what? Meat. And the body more than what you can put on it. Watch this and amplify. Therefore, I tell you, saints, stop being perpetually 
uneasy. Y'all hear that? Stop being perpetually uneasy, anxious, and worried. Say, everybody say, that's for me. About your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink or what you shall put on is not life greater in quality. I told y'all y'all of the glass, God class. I eat the best, I wear the best, I go first class in life. Amen. Therefore, food and for the body, for above and more excellent than clothing. Is life more than that? Y'all get ready, I'm finna close. Ezekiel 36. Brother, brother engineer, if you could put a little soft music on. I'm closing. Ezekiel. How many of y'all been frustrated? And if, and if you do, just stand on your feet. If you've been frustrated, stand up. How many of y'all been ashamed before? Been made ashamed of? People laughed at you. How many of you ever thought you failed God? Let me tell you something to ease your heart. You never fail God. You only found out that you didn't know what he required. Amen. 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 You never fail because the Bible says in Christ, he always causes us to triumph. I'm a winner every day. Amen. Amen. When I get up, I win. When I sit down, I win. When I lay down, I win. You got it? How many of y'all been made ashamed, felt that you're not winning? How many of y'all thought you, you, you know, God walked out on you? Uh, Woo! Oh, God, I called, and it didn't happen. Where were you? Uh, Lord. Can I tell you something? Can I answer that for you today? He was there all the time. Oh, you know, the Bible says in Daniel, he said if it were possible, the enemy is trying to wear the saints out. It's in your Bible. But I mean, you know, he can't win. That's, right. That's why he keeps trying, because he can't win. If he can win, he'll just give up. I got him. He can't win. Watch this. You've been made ashamed of. You thought God walked out on you. You messed up on God. Things didn't go right, and you were disappointed. Look about everybody in this building standing. I'm going to make you happy. Because I'm a man that preaches God want to do you good and make you happy. That's my whole life message. Because I base my whole ministry on this thing. The goodness of the Lord leads men to change their mind. You got it? In your Bible it says leads men to repentance. But in my Bible, but down edition, the goodness of the Lord leads men to change their mind. God want to be so good to you when you look at what you in, you give it up. I told my wife, I'm, I'm going to love you so much. I'm going to love you so hard. I'm going to be so good to you. When you talk to your girls, you'll bust out crying. <laughs> she can give you her testimony. Amen. Now, if I can do that for my wife and we serve a God like this, I got another message. Yeah. Good God. Yes. Y'all ever had something so good? You just tell everybody, oh, child, you got to try this. That's how good God going to be to you. Y'all ready? Look what it says. After all the Israel been through, they walked out on God. They felt God walked on them. They followed king. They become a whole nation and everything. People laughed at them. Where's your God now? What you going to do now? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. You may laugh now, but I'll be laughing later. Watch this. Are y'all ready? Hold on to your seats. Look what God told Ezekiel to tell the children of Israel. And I will multiply. Verse 11, 36 and 11. And I will multiply 
upon you. Y'all hear that? I'm going to multiply upon you. Man and beast. And they shall increase. And bring forth fruit. And I will settle you after your old estate. Y'all got to watch this, what God is telling them. Y'all know what they was. They was in the land of milk and honey. But they had been in bondage. God tell them, I'm finna bring you back to your old estate. The things that you lost before, I'm gonna get them back for you. They laughing at you now. They laughing at you. You may feel like you've been outdoors, but I'm gonna bring you back to what you thought you lost. Y'all, 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 hold on, hold on. Y'all better grab somebody's hand. He said, I'm going to bring you back to your old estate, first lady. But that's not good enough. And we'll do better unto you than at your beginning. <laughs> Somebody just missed that. Somebody just missed that. Did you hear what I just said? And I'm going to do you better than what I did you before. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm going to do you better than your beginning. I blessed you in the beginning, but that ain't nothing for me. Oh, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then you going to know. Because what I did for you before, I'm going to do better this time. And you're going to know I'm the Lord. Amen. Man can't do you what I'm going to do you. Amen. Friends can't do you like I can do you. Amen. This world can't do you like I can do you. Amen. I'm going to show you off. Glory, glory. Watch this. And I'm closing. Turn the music up. Everybody lift your hand and say, He is, he is the, same God. the same God. If he did it before, he did it before he'll do it again. Same God right now. Same God back then. Come on, give God praise in this house. Woo! Same God. 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 I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I change not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say this as I'm trying to close. God's not mad at you. Tell your neighbor, God's not mad at you. But he is mad about you. Y'all didn't get that. Y'all know how y'all used to date. Yeah, y'all used to date. Oh, I'm just mad about you. Girl, you're going to make me lose my mind. What? God is not mad at you. He's mad about you. You are the apple of his eye. How many of y'all ever been in love before? You can, you can even smell them when they ain't even around. Anybody been in love like that? You, just, you can smell the essence and they're not even in the room. You hear a song, they face pop up. You're in love. I'm going to do you better. I'm going to do you better. Pastor, I need your ministry staff. I need them. Apostle, elders, missionary, I need the ministry staff up here. Is that okay? You too, Apostle. And I'm closing. Y'all can push this out the way. I'm closing. I'm two minutes over my time. The Bible tells me you need the minister staff.
Everybody that got power and has been anointed with power by the Presbyterian. Uh -uh. Hallelujah. 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 And this is what I need to sanction.